with patient in dorsal lithotomy, place Foley catheter for recognition of the urethrovesical junction. Use two Alice clamps to grasp the vaginal epithelium at the urethrovesical junction and at the vaginal apex. Inject hydrodissection solution sub-epithelially. I use 20 units of petrescin, 20 cc's plain half percent marcaine in 100 cc's of normal saline mixture. I typically use 20 cc's of mixture for the hydrodissection. With a scalpel, Incise the vaginal epithelium between the two Alice clamps, from the urethrovesical junction to the apex. Dissect the underlying vaginal muscularis from the epithelium to the margins of the dissection bilaterally. Surgical tips. Place an Alice clamp on the epithelial edge. Using your forefinger as traction, use Metzenbaum scissors to carefully dissect the fibromuscular layer away. An assistant can maintain traction medially on the underlying muscularis tissue layer with atraumatic pickups. Providing traction and countertraction is very important for a clean dissection. Dissect the underlying vaginal muscularis from the epithelium to the margins of the dissection bilaterally. With 2O delayed absorbable suture, plicate the prolapsed fibromuscular layer in one or two mattress layers. Surgical tips. Avoid tension and avoid taking excessively deep bites to prevent injury to the underlying trigone and ureteric orifices. If the prolapse is particularly large, consider placing an initial purse string suture. Trim excess vaginal epithelium and re-approximate the vaginal epithelium with 2O or 3O delayed absorbable suture in interrupted subcuticular or running fashion. Perform cystoscopy for evaluation of bladder integrity and ureteral patency.